Time for our Chief Credit Union Student of the Week. And this is pretty cool to me for a couple reasons. A, uh, Raleigh DeLuca, who is our Student of the Week, is the inaugural. Uh, We just partnered with the Chief Credit Union uh, last month to kick this whole thing off. And uh, with some people giving me a call and saying, hey, got a great student, great kid, I want to recommend to you. uh, And gave me Raleigh's name, reached out, and there we go. He is our first ever Achieve Credit Union Student of the Week. So first things first, let's get him welcomed into the show. Raleigh, what's up, man? Hey, thanks for having me on. It's great to be here. You got it, man. I appreciate it. Uh, So uh, going back, obviously, we both know Brookside pretty well. Uh, you've gone through the whole system there, right? Yeah. Kindergarten on? Oh, yeah, preschool, okay. too. Preschool, okay. All right, so, um, and I, my my kids went to Brookside. My kids are alumni of Brookside. My wife is alumni of Brookside, uh, and we live in that school district. Um, one of the things about Brookside that I, that, that I just feel, and, and again, uh, I felt like there was just always opportunities there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I agree. Right? Uh, the principals there, they gave me a lot of opportunities. Miss Atkins. Yep, you know yep, her? yep. Yeah, she's great. She reaches out to my mom all the time to help me find stuff to do and a lot of volunteering opportunities, too. And that's big, man, because, I, listen, we, we get it. There's so many different ways for kids, uh, young men, to get wayward nowadays, right? Whether it's getting on the wrong track, uh, hooking up with the wrong friends, whatever that is, man. There's there's a lot of decisions out there that you guys are dealing with now. So when you're when you're doing good and, and Raleigh's... Let me first let's go over a couple of things. First things first. Raleigh's a senior at, at Brookside High School, graduating this year. Uh, 4.2 GPA. Uh, all A's in all of his courses taken. He's gonna graduate uh, summa cum laude. Is that am I saying that right? Yeah, I think all so. Right. Uh, diploma of distinction, honors diploma, citizenship seal, science seal, college readiness. He's been accepted already to Toledo University. Correct. Right? Um, gonna study tell us about Toledo and what your plans are there. Well, I chose Toledo because my girlfriend is also going there, so that's part of the reason, I'll be honest. Now the truth comes out, Raleigh. Yeah. Mom's listening, just so we know. But that's not the whole reason. <laughs> that's not the whole reason. I visited it, and I visited a few others, too, and I just yep. really liked Toledo the best. It felt the most like a college. Yep. And it was really welcoming, too. Got a lot and, to offer. Oh, yeah. Like, the rec center there is great. Now, how about, tell them what you're going to school for, and, and is Toledo known for that major? Yeah, so I'm going to school for biology with a pre-med concentration. That will be my major. And also, through the pipeline, I'm in the back D program okay. to get into the med school. And they do have a good med school, so I would say that they're known for that. And the ultimate goal, tell them what the ultimate goal is, because I love this. The ultimate goal, I would like to work in the ER as a physician. There you go, man. This young man's 18 years old, has uh, some great dreams. Not only that, man, two great parents, Amy and Brad. I know him personally. Uh they, you and your brother Joe, right? I mean, they, they've taken the time, uh, got you in. And again, everybody thinks you have to go to these private schools to get these great opportunities. I think, once again, you're a prime example of a public school ran the right way, like a Brookside. The opportunities are there to be anything you want to be in life, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. I didn't have that choice, man. I went to the School of Hard Knocks, and now here I am. Uh, I'm an overweight weight radio DJ, Raleigh. I, I got the short end of the stick, man. Hey, you made it, too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, brother. I appreciate that. All right, man. Athletics, we got to talk about that uh, because you got some accolades there, man. You were the soccer team captain, first team all-county, first team all-conference. Uh, you were in the All-Star game this year? Yes, I was. Uh, four-year letter winner uh, in soccer, baseball. You, you've you have obviously been there. That's where I, I remember you as a, as a young boy playing up at uh, Volunteer Field at oh, Oster. Yeah. Uh Favorite sport, soccer or baseball? Historically, throughout my life, I'd say baseball. But yeah. starting in high school, I just really fell in love with soccer. I played when I was younger. Then okay. Didn't play for several years. Started again, and I loved it. And uh, let's see. So baseball, this is going to be, you're going to win a, your third letter this year, right? Oh, yeah. And uh, second, you told me earlier, I'm sorry. Second base, right field? Yes. I'll feel, okay. Now, does your brother play on the team with you? He does, too. And he'll be, it, Joe's a? Uh, He's a sophomore. Sophomore, Okay. Uh, cross country, ran in freshman track, basketball, and then figured it out. All right, I'm going to concentrate on two. It sounds like. Yeah, it was just a lot. That is a lot. Yeah, on top of all the volunteering you do, mm-hmm. right? So uh, over a hundred hours of some community service completed with the high school. I know you help out with the Second Harvest Bank uh, food pantries, yeah, right? That's those a are great, the, are those the mobile one. ones? Yeah. How many cars are they getting out there in a day? You think? 
several hundreds. Yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, it's a big deal. We do a lot uh, with Second Harvest Food Bank. We do our lock-in where we lock ourselves in the studio. We don't come out until we raise $10,000. Uh, those are good things, man. Uh, Raleigh, I know I met you at the Sheffield Sheffield Lake Youth Baseball Association, uh, which is a baseball pro- program. It's the adaptive baseball program for players with disabilities. You volunteered for that. Yeah, that was a great opportunity. Yeah. Me and my girlfriend did that. That was just awesome to see them get to do that. You better you better quit saying my girlfriend and give her a shout out, man. At least get her name on the radio. Rachel Seekins. There you go. There you go. And uh, uh, is that? Um, Oh, God, I know her dad. Uh, uh, Kirk. Kirk, Kirk Seekins. Yeah, oh, yeah, Kirk is a cool cat listener. Yeah, he's a big fan. He'll probably love this. Yeah, that's cool, man. We got to get this. This will all be recorded for you, so we'll make sure we get it sent out to you guys. So, Raleigh, the other thing, you know, when you're, when you're growing up, right, you got, like we said, you have all these different choices. What, what, was, the, what was the drive in high school? Was it just knowing that what you wanted to do? Uh, I mean, you've, you've done so many different things and, and tried out a lot of different things. When did you know... You know, man, I, I, I want to work in the ER. I want to work with people. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a physician. What, what age do you think that really hit you at? Well, I was always interested in biology, science. I've always been interested in that. Yep. And then I took time, uh, I forget what it's called, shadowing. That's what it's called. Yeah. I shadowed multiple different professionals. I did shadowed surgery and ER. Okay. And I don't want to see, I don't want to say that surgery is boring. Yeah. There's a lot less to do there and it's a lot less exciting. And also the personal connection of being in the ER. Absolutely. I really like that, like being able to talk to and help a lot of people, like in one day. That's good, man. You're you're a good young dude, man. I, I just sit here talking with you. Very easy to talk to, man. You got your head on straight, and uh, you're going to do some good things in life, man. It definitely appears that way. And uh, thank you, obviously, to your mom and dad, right? I of mean, course. Who all do you want to say thank you to, man? Uh, Brad, Amy, my little brother Joe, Rachel, her parents, everyone all helping you out right yep. you mentioned principal atkins oh yeah uh ad chris atkins yes, man he's great uh, mike cook man mike cook is to me i think mike is running that that school district out there that brookside school district um way different than a lot of superintendents i know man i mean we deal with a lot of different schools mike's a pretty out there uh in people's faces kind of guy i mean very approachable very easy to get to know very proud to tell you about Brookside, and I think that's what makes young men like you a good success story because you're out representing what they're the culture they're trying to br- build at Brookside High School. Yes, I appreciate that. Right, you got it, man. Uh, if you didn't catch this interview, I'm going to make sure Raleigh gets it. If you're one of his fans, uh, he was telling me what your fan club's up to about three thousand. Oh yeah, easy. We're going to make it at least three thousand and two <laughs> by the end of the day, man. Uh, we got Raleigh hooked up with a shirt and a hat. We're going to get that picture, get it on our social media. Uh, Real quick, man, our Chief Credit Union Student of the Week, Raleigh DeLuca, senior at Brookside High School. Thanks, man. I appreciate you taking some time out of your day to come out here. Thanks for having me on.